Hey what's up guys Rajat from VFX World welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing absolutely fine in this video we'll talk about this amazing new software called character creator 3 provided by real illusion and by using this software you can create ultimate 3d character this will be a lot of fun so without wasting any time let's get started So guys right now we're in character creator 3 and as you can see this is kind of a very good example of how you can do some cool animations rig control inside of this software and this software is actually our future and you can do a lot of stuff by using this software okay so before going forward i just want to reset the entire scene so the scene is completely resetted and as you can see this the first user interface is look like this when you first time open this okay so let's start with this one so this is a uh, as you can see you can understand this is a basic uh, viewer and where you can exactly rotate this character by pressing alt and right click you can rotate this character in fact by pressing alt and just a normal left click you can drag and by using scroll you can exactly zoom this character so it's a very easy controls uh, not like very critical controls only two or three keys you can use here now let me tell you one thing very important that this character is very good rigged in fact it's uh, amazing with textures as well now talking about some tools and panels these are the like basic user toolbar where you can find this option called like file save new project export import now you can export this character in various platforms now talking about this one this is also aviator exporter like you can use this character to export using this and this iclone is in different platform provided by real illusion as well this is a preview button if you click this the how the render will look like it will be a preview and this one is exporting option called Sketchfab where you can export this and this is for ZBrush. If you notice there are also option called Substance Painter to paint your textures if you want to uh, like add anything or remove anything or you have to modify your textures of this character you can use it simply the Substance Painter. Now coming to this this is a backward this is a forward like undo and redo this is a now normal tick this is like a move tool rotation scale and this is a home button now these other options basically for camera this is like zoom in zoom out this is like a simple movement and this is a complete rotation something like that and this is a normal three-dimensional mesh and all now if your system is not very good enough you can decrease the resolution from high medium quick mode minimum and the custom so it's mean like my system is right now in high country so i can use it very easily in this high resolution now coming to this option this is called auxiliary lighting setup some kind of lighting you can adjust it this is a pose now if you want to talk about this poses like this character is posing right now almost a t pose so you can change the poses by using this option this is atmosphere while using this you can exactly change this character environment atmospheres and all these are the options for modification morphing transformation and this is another option called install od i'll talk about this later in a different video because this is a vast topic now the second row you can find this global illumination if you turn this on you can feel some changes will happening in a little bit so for by default it will only applied on this one like viewport gi it means like global illumination on viewport so you can feel the gi on this viewport and this is a substance painter and this is a headshot headshot is also will be described on another video because that will be a dedicated new video will be coming very soon based on your likes and dislikes on this video now in the left panel you can find another toolbar called like content panel where you can find these many options here called smart gallery content scene and the visuals so talking about the first one which is content by default it will open when you open the software for the very first time and as you can see there are so many options here so let's go through with all this so this is like a basic base where the character is like this so if you open any Anything like full body like this one if you find there are some cool by default based model is already pre-installed in the software now these are the basic based options so if you double click on this character so let me show you with this one so if I double click here you can see the character is suddenly got changed with a new like male character so this is exactly called base of this character you have so many things like hair if you want a specific hair for this character simply you have to just double click here and you can see the hair is already applied on this character if you zoom this you can see the hair is applied in a very good way good manner so these are the steps which you can use by using this base option now coming to this one this is called like a skin option so in this option you can find so many skin types like a normal skin type if you have this many skin types i'm not applying anything here because it will take some time so you can find so many like blemishes and all if you double click here you can find so many dots kind of thing if you have this one if you like this these are the like basic skin setups talking about this one this is all about makeup so if the character is a lady character or a male character you can simply just double click here and the texture will be applied on the skin in a 
a very easiest way but you guys you can change that textures you can remove this texture you can adjust this texture from this modification panel i'll come this later this is a cloth panel you can understand by using this logo and you have this several options of this character to understand like how it will look like and all you can change these cloths you can import a new one as well now going to this one this is all about like hat like other stuffs like uh like hat glasses and all you can import and this is like a basic pose like male pose you can find there are so many basic poses are there just double click here and the pose will be changed suddenly you can see this amazing just double click here and the pose is changing now these are the stuffs called like stage environment like if you want to add some cool lighting setup like ibl is all about like hdri kind of thing it's fact it's hdri atmosphere like if you want anything like from backlight front light like high definition light just simply double click here the light will be applied see it's a very easy to create just double click if you want to create this light from backlight completely see this character is added this kind of light now we have this option this is based on like expressions if you have any specific expression you can add this by using this expression controls now this content option is done now we have to go to the smart gallery now this smart gallery is basically all about this contents which is already like pre-arranged and you can use this simply just double click here you can find the same options which pre-arranged that's why it's called like smart gallery now talking about the scene setup this is exactly like a layer panel where you can just turn in turn off those layers now, if you want to like a cc base i just zoom in this character a little bit and if you just turn off this eye you can see this character is completely disappear if you want no need those eyes you can just simply turn this off and all if you don't want this hairs as well just turn off turn on so this is basically as i told the layer panel now talking about the visual this is for like ambient light how you can blend the light hdri effect ibl effect you can import from here your very own hdri light and you can increase the intensity as and all now all the setups which you can import from this content panel you can exactly modify to this modify panel as you can see it's mentioned it's a modification panel now you just have to select this base model and you can find this modification panel will be changed for this basic material model now there are several options called avatar modify transform and display so start from the avatar you can click this load natural base it means like the character which is starting from the load natural based mode this often is all about dedicated to convert to game base yes these characters you can use for unreal and gaming purpose so that's why this character can be converted to by game basics model now this is a display where you can exactly turn off turn on the eyes so let me show you with this one so if i click this the eyes will be turn off and if you want to click this mouth option the mouth will be open and it will close by using simple one click now this option is for teeth show if you don't want a specific teeth you can just turn this off now talking about this smooth mesh you can exactly smooth this mesh if you notice some areas are very sharp so it means this mesh is not being smooth but if you turn on this smooth mesh it can take some time and it can start it lagging so i am not using this smooth mesh now turn off this avatar mode and now this is modify panel where you can use this pose offset edit mesh and adjust bones and adjust floor contents so talking about this pose offset you can exactly change the character poses so let me show you how so if, if i click the head material now this is like a rotation option so if i click this rotation you can exactly rotate the character from head top to bottom and this is like a twist if you want to twist this head if you want to slide this one you can do this by using very simple way this is a reset and this is a reset all now talking about this edit mesh you can exactly edit mesh like a simple 3 dimensional software if you want this mirror tolerance you can use this if you want some soft selection you can exactly do this soft selection like simple like max or maya you already know about this this is the face selection this is element this is sculpting so if i want this kind of area some speaking sculpt you can use this tool for sculpting now this is the adjust bones you can exactly adjust this character bones from using this tool after the bone setup you can find this adjust floor contacts it means like the character is contact with this floor so how it will work and all you can simply change the height width like back front middle this is very easy steps and the software user interface is look like a very critical but when you start using this it's very easy to handle last but not the least you can find this display material option where you can visible this character entirely on and off this is a simple render slates if you want to create some cool like these are the like other parts of this character options if you want to use you can use but i don't think anyone needed this okay so after first option i have to go to the next position option which is called motion pose 
Now coming to this edit pose option, you can exactly edit this character posing by using this many controllers. So let me show you with some options. So if I click this head one, you can simply use this move tool and you can change the character motion. If you can see the rig is exactly very good. So when you move the head one, the other stars are also being affected. See, close this and you have to open this edit facial, which is also my favorite options. By using this, you can exactly edit the character facials. So like these are the options. You, in fact, this called as in controller. So if I have moved this mouse you can feel this kind of options are automatically being turned on this is a symmetrical selection so it means like if you change anything on left side it will automatically affect it on the right side as well so let me show you with something so if i click this chick option after that you have to simply drag from here so you can see the mouth is exactly opening and closing now simultaneously you can use many other parts like if i click this chick areas and drag here you can simply find the characters like chicks are also being affected see after that you can rotate the head by using this option just to rotate so when you rotate the head, it's the head's options are also being activated by using this tool. And you can rotate the head from left to right direction as well. Now if you click this one, it will be a default key. Now talking about the basic default expression, which you can use by using these tools. This is like a happy expression. You can find sad, angry, disgusting, fear. So let's talk about this fear. Just double click here. You can automatically change this expression. If I click the happy, double click here, it will become like this. Now talking about the modification panel, you can modify the each and every parts. So like talking about this eyebrow if you want this eye blue line left see this eyebrows are affecting this eyebrow light sided affecting it's like wow you are doing this kind of thing so these kind of expressions are happening if you want to this eye options just eye blink so this eye blink are also being happening from this option and talking about the set to t pose which is a basic t pose as you all know those who guys know 3d they know this option pretty well now talking about the next option which is called the morphing option where you can exactly change the character's basic body default so you can find so many options like actor, body, then full body, shoulder, arms, each and every parts are separate, separate. So let's start with few so you can understand the rest of the things. So let's talk about this full body. Now you can see this is like a female body. So we don't need that. So we have to go down. This is a natural male body. So if I increase this, you can see the natural male body is getting increasing like a bodybuilder kind of thing. If you want like celebrity body, so it can be like this. So it's like a Hulk kind of body. And Talking about the shoulders, if you want to click the shoulder option like shoulder scale, if you exactly scale the shoulders and if you want to like width only shoulder, you can exactly do this. So these are the options. It's basically for morphing. Now the next one is all about the appearance, like how the character will appear on your screen. This is activate editor. If you activate this, you can exactly edit the character appearance in the screen. This is like makeup. You can exactly turn on the makeup option and you can do some cool stuff in makeup. Last but not the least, this is all about the material panel where you can find all the materials in fact you can import export the materials to any other software to change some textures here so guys this video is all about the basic user interface like when you use this software for the very first time you can exactly understand by using my this tutorial and thank you real illusion for providing us this amazing software license all links are in description box below about this real illusion site softwares and details you can go and check this all if you're still not follow us on our social media handles like facebook instagram linkedin and twitter all links are in description box below as well if you really love my this video then don't forget to like comments and share and also subscribe vfx world i will see you in my next video with some amazing content till then have fun stay healthy keep rocking keep watching vfx world